Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, a proven prophet, said four years before COVID, a virus never seen before was coming. Now he's been shown a total global reset in every sector of your life. Next. Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Make this show naturally supernatural. Joshua Giles accepted the Messiah at age seven and heard the audible prophetic voice of God. What did God show you about your future? Well, Sid, I was alone in a room uh, at that young age, and my parents were pastors, but I didn't want anything to do with ministry. Um, so I ran from it from an early age uh, on. But in that room, I had an encounter with God where I could feel a presence, a force that came in, and I heard the voice of God speaking to me. And he said to me that I was going to travel the world as a prophet and release his message to the people. It started me as a kid. I told my parents about it, and I believe that was the beginning of my prophetic journey. What would you say jump-started the supernatural? I understand you had an angelic visitation. Yeah. Well, as I got a little older as a teenager and then uh, a young adult, I can remember one experience that I had. I was in a, a room again. I was actually asleep. It was in the middle of the night, maybe 3 a.m. And I heard these loud sirens uh, going off. I literally thought that the building I was in was on fire. And so I jumped up, ran to the window. I looked outside. There was not a car on the street. Nothing was there. And I thought this is so unusual. And uh, I went back and laid in, in my bed. And as soon as I laid down, this huge angel came into the room where I was. It didn't make sense to me because the angel was taller than the room itself, but yet he fit in the room. And uh, I remember the angel reaching out and touching me. And I felt the power of God, what I know now to be the power of God, flow through me like electricity through my body. I was frightened of Number one, but then I felt the presence of God that calmed me, and this angel gave me a message that I would again go and minister in my area in Minnesota. I hadn't even moved there yet, but he told me about the healing ministry and the prophetic ministry that I would do. Joshua is known today for his very, very accurate and very, very precise prophecies. Government officials, leaders, are now recognizing this and seeking him out on December 6, 2015, four years before COVID. God told Joshua about a rare virus that was coming, so rare that doctors would not know what it is. What did God tell you about this virus? Well, I was in the middle of uh, service, and of course, maybe 300 people uh, in my church were there, and we were worshiping and singing to the Lord, and the spirit of prophecy just dropped down on me. I wasn't expecting this specific word, and it's as if my mind was suspended, and the Lord was just speaking through me. And he said that there was going to be a rare virus that would come into the world, and again, the doctors wouldn't know what it was. I could see a vision as I was releasing this prophecy uh, of doctors saying, is it the flu? Is it something else? But he said that it would attack the immune system. And so I heard that word and our church began to pray right then. And then he began to speak to me about the future of what would come. Is there any hope for the world with what you saw? Absolutely. You know, whenever the Lord gives a word like that, 
there's always hope in in that word. Now, the other thing that the Holy Spirit said to me was that he would be a shield of protection around his people. And we've heard so many testimonies, even with COVID, on how the Lord has raised people up uh, out of hospital beds and how he's protected us. And so I believe that in the coming days, we are going to experience one of the greatest outpourings of the Spirit of God that we have ever seen. What did God show you about the coming global reset and how is it going to affect our future? Well, in 2019, I had just come back from a trip to Israel where the Lord moved powerfully. I came to a Bible study at my church, and again, the spirit of prophecy came, and the Lord said to me that 2020 would be the beginning of a global reset. He said we would see an economic downturn like we had never seen before. Mm -hmm. And he told me that the days of Joseph would return, where we would see famine that would come in the future. But this reset would not just be a reset to the world, Every single industry will be broken down in order to be rebuilt, including the church. And so this means that the church is about to step over into days of power, more anointing, and more glory. I believe that the gifts of the Spirit are going to intensify, and we're going to experience true revival. I'll tell you, fear is running rampant. Inflation, food shortages, terrorism, nuclear bombs, moral decay, address the fearful. I want to talk to those that are watching and you might be dealing with fear, a spirit of fear. I want you to know that there's no reason for us to panic or fear because God is with us. That's right. Jesus Christ is here with us. And so I'm excited because of what I see coming. I'm not in panic because of the negative things. The Lord showed me that this will be the best of times in the worst of times. And this means that we can get excited because we were born for this hour. We're going to see some of the greatest miracles, some of the greatest breakthroughs. We're going to see the gospel go to areas that it's never gone to before. And so we should be rejoicing right now. So shake off the fear and step over into courage. Yes. Okay. Would you like a sneak preview, I know you will, of the next 10 years? It's a 10-year reset in technology, finances, and actually every system in the world. Joshua says it'll be your best decade ever if you know and act on this inside information. No more fear. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Now return to It's Supernatural. Joshua, you say, quote, we all carry the future within us, but most are not aware of it. Explain that. You know, Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 says that God placed the world in the heart of man. Some translations say eternity. When you look at that word in the Hebrew, it means the future. So this means literally coursing through your veins, you are carrying the future. And so the prophetic gift- It's almost like your DNA- Yes. Yes. Is not just what science says, but God's put something in your DNA. Absolutely. And, and in the DNA, when you look at it, uh, it's actually in the shape of a ladder. And uh, that connects to the ladder that Jacob saw when he looked up right. into heaven. It's a portal from this world into the divine. And so I believe that every single person carries prophetic DNA in them, meaning you can see in the spirit, you can hear. If you would just yield to the power of the Holy Spirit, he wants to use people for that. How did you first hear about this 10-year global reset? Well, I was in my time of prayer and fasting. I would get up every morning at about 5 or 6 a.m. and just begin to pray and worship the Lord. I wasn't even asking for a word for someone. But you know, when you become a friend of the Holy Spirit, He'll just share secrets with you. And so the Holy Spirit began to share with me about the next 10 years. And He said that it would be a decade of shortages throughout the 10 years. 
ears. I was alarmed at this word, but I saw a vision open up to me. And in the vision, I walked into a grocery store and the shelves were completely empty. And I could tell it was in America. And that was the alarming mm -hmm. thing. And the Lord said to me, don't panic. He said, at that time, you will see multiplication miracles being released in the earth. So we're going to see the supernatural increase all over the world. And it's a part of this great revival and outpouring that's here and coming. Now, your, your book is jam-packed with what's going to happen in the future. And the thing that I love and the people that know you love is you do have both sides of the coin, so to speak. You talk about the bad that's coming, and then you talk about the powerful supernatural of God's global glory that's going to equip His people to overcome every bad thing that's going on. Uh, you saw a 10-year global reset. I wish we had the time to share all the areas, but what did you see about money? Uh, that, that's such a good question. And in, in my book, I actually address that. And I love the fact that it goes not just into the Christian world, but there are secular people that are saying, I'm picking up this book. And throughout that book, I point them to Jesus. So it's going to be a tool for evangelism. But the Lord spoke to me and showed me that the economy would be shaken in America and the nations. And he said, don't panic. We're going to see a steep decline coming. But I saw the anointing of Joseph being released on individuals where we would not only survive the famine, we would begin to thrive in the midst of the famine. And so we will live under heaven's economy. We are not bound by the economy of this world. And so even in the spirit, I saw uh, Joseph's storehouses being raised up all over the earth. And I'm not just talking about for natural food and resources. That's a part of it. But I saw these safe havens where uh, those that would come out of darkness would have a community that they can become a part of and it would be the New Testament church ignited all over again. It's the book of Acts being stirred up. Did God show you anything about nuclear bombs? You know, he, he began to deal with me about uh, a, a coming uh, war that the enemy would try to design in order to pull America into it. I've been praying and the Lord has just given me the, uh, the admonishment to pray and to cover our country and to cover the nations because it is the plan of the enemy uh, to pull us into a war. Uh, but I just believe that the protection of God is going to be there over our nation. Wow. Tell me a bit about Israel. Yeah, that's Israel is so on my heart. I've traveled to Israel uh, almost every year for the past decade. But the Lord spoke to me concerning Israel that we would see an unusual glory come over Israel, over that nation. I saw those that are there in the nation open up to receive their Messiah. And so Jesus will reveal himself in new and unique ways to the people that are there. So get ready to experience uh, miraculous signs and wonders. Get ready to see an outpouring of revival come there uh, to Israel. Yes. He showed you some new inventions actually coming out of Israel yes. for the, in the health field. Yeah. And computers and all areas. Yeah. I've seen uh, concerning technology. The Lord said there would be a technology resurgence that would come. And I saw several key inventors, one specifically from Israel, that the Lord would raise up and use powerfully uh, to really push us years ahead concerning technology and health, even in the medical field. And so when the Lord showed me this, I got excited because anytime you see revival coming, it's not just so that we can uh, have a great experience in a church or in our homes. It's so that we can literally see God impact the natural world around us. So when revival comes, get ready for the systems to be impacted by the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Did he show you anything at all about all of the open borders we have and good people and bad people are flooding into our country. We can't tell the difference because they just come in. 
Did you see anything about that? Well, what I saw uh, specifically was about our government being shaken. And so the Lord said to me that these are days where we will experience great shaking in the United States government. I believe that it's going to continue to be chaotic at times where there's infighting over what should we do concerning borders and so many other things. Uh, but God said to put our eyes on him during that time. There are people that he's anointing to go in and fight that battle. Uh, but I saw saw where the Lord would move in the midst of the chaos and in the midst of the shaking that we experience in our government. What about, I, I see this all over the place and young people, old people are all getting into something called crypto currency. Did God yes. show you anything about that? Yeah, he absolutely did. And I write about this in, in my new book, Prophetic Forecast. The Lord said to me that cryptocurrency would become the wave of the future. And I saw a new monetary system come out of it. So don't be rattled if in, you know, the next uh, couple of years, it seems like things go down. It's out of that system. The Lord's going to birth something new. And I saw the money changing, literally the way that we use money, uh, the way that we enter interact with money. I saw it change completely. And so we're going to be dealing with more of a digital world. It's already here, but it's coming in a greater way. Did God show you anything about cancer? Yeah, I actually gave a word about this. I saw where some of the rare, some of the cancers that we see today would become things of the past. And when the Lord spoke this to me, I was actually quite shaken by it because uh, I've never heard him speak a word like that to me. Mm -hmm. But he said that uh, some of the cancers that we see is going to be as easy as taking a pill. I saw uh, the medical field advance to that level where there's going to be a pill for some cancers that won't even be a problem. So the things that we're concerned about today, we may not even be concerned about them in two or three years. Joshua, what are you seeing on this set? Right now, you know, as we've been talking, I can see the fire of the Holy Spirit going out into those that are watching into their homes. And the Lord says there's going to be angelic visitations. I see this flood. It's almost like a rush of angels that are going out into homes. And because the warfare has been so great against the body of Christ over the past couple of years, the Lord says, I'm going to send refreshing. I see waves of refreshing coming. There are people that are watching this now. They're dealing with sickness and infirmity, but I see the healing power of God coming right there in your home. There's someone that's dealing with severe back pain. I see it in the spine, but the Lord says he's healing them right now. There's another person that's dealing with arthritis and is so painful to you, but the Lord says be healed right now. So there are waves of healing that's flowing out into the homes of those that are watching. So just receive it. And we're going to continue to see waves of the glory of uh, rushing through homes and communities. You won't even have to get to church to experience the glory of the Lord. We want you to come to church, but you won't have to get there for that. In your car is going to turn into a sanctuary while you're worshiping and, and praising God. And the miracles, the miracles that we're seeing right now, they're going to be so unusual that we won't have any frame of reference for these kinds of miracles. It's going to be God creating organs in bodies. I saw in the spirit. Is where this part of the glory yes, coming yes. that you've seen and you talk about in your book? Yeah, it's, it's a part of that glory where the Lord said that these are days of mega glory, where the glory is about to sweep throughout the globe. And I saw these creative miracles. I just came from a meeting where it's already started, where there was a lady in the meeting that came in with a tumor the size of a grapefruit. And the Lord gave me a word of knowledge. I had no idea. And instantly the tumor dissolved in the presence of God. And the Lord says, that's the way I'm going to move. And it's not going to be uh, just on people that have titles and preachers. This is getting ready to be a body movement where it's going to be the average ordinary believer is about to pick up an assignment to move in healing and in miracles confirming the words of the Lord. Now, when we return, Joshua is going to pray to unlock the future. God has already put with inside of you. It's time to rise above Satan's plan and live in the good future God has prepared for you. And I say it is good because there's a book of life and your name is on it and everything in that book is good and it's time for the good things to overtake you. Be right back. 
right back to It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, before I turn Joshua loose in the fire, in the glory, in the miraculous, I want to make sure you're prepared. I want you to say this prayer with me and mean it to the best of your ability. It's a new beginning for you. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. I've messed up in my life. I've messed up in my life. And I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry. I believe. I believe. Jesus died for my mess ups. Jesus died for my mess ups. And because of his blood. And because of his blood. I'm clean. I'm clean. And now that I'm clean. And now that I'm clean. Jesus, come inside of me. Jesus, come inside of me. Take over my life. Take over my life. I make you Lord of my life. I make you Lord of my life. Amen. Amen. Joshua, pray. Father, we just pray right now for every individual that's watching, every person that's listening. I pray that you would unlock the prophetic destiny that's been hidden on the inside of your people. I'm praying that they would experience outpours of revival right in their home. Father, I'm praying for their families, that you would break generational curses and release generational blessings now. Let sons and daughters return. Let the prodigals come home. Father, I'm praying even now that you would give wisdom for us to deal with the days that are ahead, wisdom to deal with the economy, wisdom to deal with the future. Father, so that we would not just survive the future, but we would thrive in the midst of it. So let your mega glory, let the fire of the Holy Spirit be released now on everyone that's watching. In Jesus' name, amen. 